All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. You may notice this Audi is here and is in storage. And you might wonder, well, what are you doing with this Mark One Rabbit truck? And the answer to that is we're putting her back on the road. So, unfortunately, I, I really just kind of dug into this without even thinking about it. But this car has been off the road since at least 2014, I guess. Um, she's hurting, so... Basically, this is an old build that a known shop in the Volkswagen community put together. And um, hopefully, whomever worked on this doesn't work anymore in the automotive space because it's terrible. So, here's what we're doing. As you may notice, it's got an ABA in it. You also may notice it has a turbocharger. So, we are going to be reinstating this car as an ABA turbo with a full central electric CE2 swap. And basically the only things that will remain Mark I in this car will be some of the blower wiring, uh, the wiper motor, which I'm going to rewire with Mark III wiring, and the rear tail lights. Uh, and that's about it, honestly. Um, I've already ripped basically everything useless out of the vehicle. Uh, we have our dome light and our door switch, so that'll get put back in. That was disconnected. And then from what I can tell, this is our rear lighting harness. So I gotta go yank the plug off of that and that'll get mated to the CE2 rear lighting harness plug and life will be great. Otherwise, we have some goodies here that I gotta rewire. There's a whole bunch of gauges for a little three stack takes place of the original radio, I think. Um, honestly, it's been a while since I've been in a stock Mark I, so I don't know. Then we got an Innovate wideband. And uh, yeah, this is the kind of work quality. This was just all taped. This is ass. And if you do work like this on electrical stuff in cars, I implore you to find something else to do with your time. Because it's garbage. So, anyways, that all taken care of. Um, yeah, we're starting from scratch here. So, I have a CE2 fuse box. I have a CE2 engine loom from fuse box out to the barrel connectors. I just went yesterday to the scrapyard. Again, didn't think to record this. Maybe I should have. And I received a engine side harness for the ABA OBD2, the matching throttle body, and the ECU off of that car. I'm going to return to get the rest of the wiring plugs uh, for the body harness so I can make this nice and plug and play and everything will be honky-dory. We're not, we're not going to leave my buddy with a shit show as he was previously. So a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do because as you can see, I mean, I've taken everything out of here and... They're just going to do what I do best, and I'm going to start from scratch. So, this is just kind of a short catch-up to speed. Um, with any luck, I will I will actually remember to film this stuff adequately and uh, take you along for the ride. Next projects will be mocking up stuff in the engine bay, as well as getting the CE2 fuse box to relatively live where it needs to and begin thinning the Mark III harness to down down to what we need and really nothing more so that is the game plan for this car is to run full central electric 2 on the harness department and the fuse box and the only things that are going to be a1 or mark 1 whatever you want to call it it's going to be this for the dome light and the door switch and the rear tail wiring so i got to pull this pigtail and i got to pull this pigtail off the original harness and we're obviously going to Try to reinstate the blower. Um, there's a piece missing here that goes between the actual vents that are filled with gauges. So, I don't know how this is going to get done yet. I have to talk to my customer and decide with him what it is that he would like to do and how he wants this to look. Um, that aside, we got a pretty straightforward project ahead of us. So, oh, why don't I climb out of here? We'll go take a gander at what we have, because uh, it's a lot. So the fuse box is here. That's the main engine harness, so that'll get thinned down. I'm going to unwrap everything and thin it down, but as you can see, I have it plugged in to the harness for the engine side of it, out to the ECU plug, fuse box plugs, relays, cluster harness, miscellaneous interior wiring. Um, more or less, we're going to use as much Mark III as we can, because I don't know if anyone's familiar with Westmoreland, uh, Mark 1 cars, rabbits, rabbit trucks, they weren't exactly known for being the best wired vehicles. Now, I will also concede that Puebla pr produced 
Mark III's, a.k.a. basically all of them, were also not wired that well. However, the wiring quality is better. It is newer wiring with better insulation on it. And so help me, we're going to make this a fully functional, wonderful little truck. And we just have to get a couple pieces. So we're going to go to Mark III stalks instead of the Mark I stalks. But for that, I need to go get stalks from a 3.5 Cabrio. Because if you're not familiar, Mark III's have the hazard switch right on top of the steering stalks. That'll hit things uh, with the dashboards. So that ain't going to fly. So we'll go to a 3.5 Cabrio for that since they used a in-dash hazard switch, much like the Mark I. So that should help us. Um, I will have to find a dash harness for that and pull out what I need to make that nice and easy and just plug-and-play type deal. But the goal is to have this car look like it was wired this way from the factory so that way if anybody has problems with it, i.e. my buddy, he can take it anywhere and get it fixed. And we're also going to make sure, because there's no point to having OBD2 without a Diag port. So, things to notice. Um, otherwise, in regard to the motor itself, it's got a head spacer. I think it's 8.5 to 1. Uh, it's got an adjustable cam gear, which I'm not going to screw with too much. I'm going to set it to 0 and leave it alone. Some sort of unknown turbo. It's internally gated with a forge, I want to say. Uh, wastegate actuator, which we have to clock so that the vacuum port is facing up instead of down, so we can go right to here. And, yeah, a number of things. We're going to be doing manual brakes. Um, don't mind this. It was just for encouragement. Now that everything that is miserable has left, it does not need encouraged. Um, yeah, but this car has some cool kit on it. We are going to an A4 Mark IV style 2-liter long runner manifold, which I've already gotten with all the crap we need. Valve cover, da-da-da even though it does tend to complicate other stuff. Um, but beyond that, charge piping is going to, inlet piping will come out here, MAF will still be over here like normal, and then what I'm expecting to do is run the plumbing from the turbo outlet this way into the intercooler instead of that way, and then from the intercooler over here we'll go whoop, right into the throttle body. Should make this real simple, nice to take apart, not a pain in the ass if something goes wrong and we got to fix it. So, that's the plan. Uh, stay tuned, there is more to come. I'm just, I'm trying to get everybody caught up to speed because I got several hours into this before I thought, hey, maybe I should film this because some other people might might be also living in hell with a Mark I with an ABA swap. Also, if you're going to do a Mark I ABA swap, don't cut the battery tray. Just drill the spot welds and take the damn thing out if you're going to modify it. Because this, this is crap. And this, this is just disgraceful. Like, what the hell is going on here? Not to mention, stuff is hardwired that I had to cut to get the harness sections out. If you're going to merge a harness, use connectors that come apart in the event that anything has to get done. And don't, don't do this. Do not do this. And if you connect wires like this, you also should probably stop it. Because this is just despicable. Absolutely despicable. So, that's where we're at. And, uh, yeah. So, now we just got to get some more parts. Uh, get a headlight harness for a Mark III. And some other crap. And I think we'll call her good. Get her, get her going back together soon. So, stay tuned. Lots of fun going on here on the channel. Uh... Well, more fun for you than for me, but worry not. We will get this uh, get this all sorted out soon. And then, yeah, re redo a lot of this. We're just going to make this not look like crap. So, yeah. Stay tuned as we turn this back into a truck and put this back under the hood where it all belongs. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, will get with you guys next time as soon as I get back to work on this. And... Let's we'll see what we can do here.